How's it going, social media family? Joshua August here. It's great to see you. Welcome aboard, all you new subscribers. Mwah. Great to have you. This is the video where we do like an encouraging video once a week. I pray and ask God for a word of encouragement, and then I give it to you guys, the viewers. That's always a good time. Please comment. I screen those, but I love to write people back, interpret dreams, and things like that. Uh, so anyways, let's just get right into the word for today. I woke up this morning and I was praying and I just felt like God said, be still and know that I'm God. And if you're a busy buddy like me, uh, I just feel there's a lot of moms watching. Uh, you're very busy. It's, it's hard to find that time. Um, and you're asking for things, praying for things, but, and I am too. I'm a go-getter, constantly working, um, working really hard and it's hard for me to get still, but I just want to encourage you to be at peace trust God. The Lord has heard your prayers and he's working on things, working behind the scenes, ironing those things out. Little mom joke for <laughs> you guys who are watching. Uh, but anyways, and it says in the Old Testament, you know, he wasn't in the earthquake. He wasn't in the thunder or the fire or whatnot, but he was in the still small voice. And in order to hear, you know, the still small voice, we need to get quiet, right? Because it's really uh, more of a whisper where the Lord speaks to me. <laughs> It's not uh, pushy, it's not loud, it's not, um, you know, it's patient, but it is still small and sweet. So I want to encourage you to do that. I also saw this graphic a few times this week and it ministered to me, but it says basically, you know, love yourself like the way you love a close dear friend or a relative or a child. You know, I just feel there's a lot of people watching today that you're givers, you pour out a lot, you bless a lot, you sow a lot. Uh, even ministers and people have been in ministry a long time. Uh, but it's okay to keep a piece of pie for yourself. It's okay to uh, keep your own portion. You know, God gives us specific um, portions for physical physical strength and spiritual strength. And they're not to, make, not to be shared. They're meant for you. Um, there might be people who just are going through exhaustion, overworking. Just go, 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 go. Um, but it's okay to take time and invest in yourself, pour into yourself. And uh, the scripture comes to mind, Galatians 5, 16 through 18. I'm going to read it really quick. I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things you wish. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. So I just want to encourage you, if you get exhausted, if you're working too hard, if you're not stopping, it's easy to, to fall into your own strength, to fall into your own devices, your own mind, your own soul, being led by those things instead of the Spirit. We're commanded to walk in the Spirit. You know, the Spirit teaches things. You know, the Spirit speaks. Uh, and we're weak if we don't take that time to rest and uh, take care of ourselves. So I just think there's a lot of people out there. Make sure you take that time to reflect, to let the Lord pour into you, to let the Lord fill you up so then you can pour out on other people as well. Okay, so it's more of a shorter word today, but the last few things I heard were, you know, seek God with due diligence, but keep being diligent and the vision you're chasing. You know, for a while, it's easy to get discouraged because you don't see fruit right away. But I believe that some of you are kind of, in, you know, continuing to plow, chasing your dream, chasing your vision. Don't give up. There was a season in my life um, where like three months went by and it was just dry and I was just building and working and then after that time frame is when the real breakthrough and blessing came so I encourage you if you're building something don't stop keep going God's gonna bless that as a reservoir of blessings for you here's a little fun thing just a little bit of creativity for you I did some digital painting last night uh, working on a t-shirt design for some of the youth really like how it turned out um, let me know if you're creative or if you're into things like that. It's a great way to glorify God. And a picture says a thousand words. Okay, the Lord just gave me another little bit really quick. I just feel like the Lord's bringing some healing to some of you. That he is bringing out the person he created you to be. He's restoring. Uh, there's, been, there's been attacks on, on identity. There's been attacks on confidence. There's been attacks on you know, self-belief. I just feel like God's restoring that in you. Um, there's some of you you're not going to put up 
with things that you put up with in the past, the way people treated you. God's going to shift. It's all this word's all tied together. He's going to shift self-love back to you, self-preservation, self-investment. And you're not going to waste time on things and people that you did before. This uh, word has kind of gone around in the past, but you're not going to waste time on things you did before. You're not going to let people treat you and walk all over you. And you're going to just walk out in confidence. And you're not going to hesitate chasing the things. Like you got so beat up in the past, you forgot about things you love, things that you that were your dreams, that were your, your vision. And, and and people would make fun of you and, and they, they would just uh, stop you and say things and jabs and just little comments, snide comments. But these things really do stop us, you know. I even had someone made a comment about one of my songs one time and I just know it was from the enemy trying to stop this song from getting out. But I am going to record it and I just push through. But I just break that off you. Break it off me because you have a voice. I just want someone to know out there that God's saying you have a voice. You, you, he wants to restore your voice, your anointing, your first love. Your Break off the calluses and, 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 and just the caking of all these years and, and ministries and words and bring you back to your first love in him, why you started ministry, why you started helping people, why you care about people, why you love people, your love for the Lord, the way you used to worship him and pour into him and, and bless him. God wants to restore that. Anyways, much love. See you soon.